Brad Pitt and George Clooney are one of Hollywood's favorite bromances, and they are set to reunite on the big screen for their new movie, Wolves. And to celebrate, we're cracking open the E-Vault for a look back at some of our most epic interviews with the pair from over the years. We clearly have a situation here. The only course of action is for you to work together to clean up this mess. No. It's not how I work. This is not how I work. Brad Pitt and George Clooney have been household names for decades, and E! has been following their careers from their humble beginnings to their mega stardom. You're kind of just getting your film career underway, and you've done a couple of things before, but this is probably your first major release, right? Were you at all intimidated by working with a lot more seasoned actors? No, you know what? It's better because you, uh, they're really helpful, and uh, you got more to work with. There's more going on. Just the line. How did you hear that you're uh, an Emmy nominated actor? Well, I woke up at 5.30 and I turned on your lovely channel. I turned on E and I didn't think I would really have a shot at getting a nomination, so I was just very lucky. Right place, right time. I don't think if you're an actor you can make too many long range plans. You just kind of take the jobs as you get them. And as long as you get them, you keep doing them. You try and do better projects as you go. And you try not to step on anybody's toes along the way. You try to be pretty fair with people. And if they're pretty fair with you, then you end up being fairly successful in the long run. Me out there is, is more of an image. Celebrity is an, is an image. And it may be one facet, a couple facets of yourself, but certainly not the whole, the whole shebang. Um, it may even be completely off the mark. And in 2001, the duo linked up for their first of many collaborations for Ocean's Eleven. It's a great script. It's an incredible cast, and it's the best director in the business right now. And our biggest fear was we were having such a good time, we thought we might screw it up. Listen, the set was just amazing. Amazing when you sit around, you see all these faces, and worth every minute. Pitt and Clooney had instant chemistry and formed a strong friendship, which continued through Ocean's 12 and 13. They stayed at my house in Como, which was really fun. When you say they, that means the entire cast? Pretty much the whole cast. At one time or another, the whole cast. Elliot stayed there, Don stayed Elliot there. Elliot, the music all night. Though it's been more than 16 years since sharing a screen in Burn After Reading, the Clooney Pitt films have grossed over $2 billion and will continue to dominate after confirming they'll be back for Ocean's 14. And you can catch Wolves in theaters on Friday and on Apple TV Plus September 27th.